good for you uh, to, to reflect from, uh, from outside of our bubble, particularly, um, um, well, the very close-knit bubble, I would say, in the Netherlands that we have in terms of this, uh, this, uh, this, this, this sort of planning circle. Um, what are you, your views on the, on the role of planning in, uh, in, in, in the light of these monumental changes? Uh, Again, a, a big question, huh? Yeah, very simple question, Paul. Thank you, and thank you all for uh, uh, being here. It's uh, great um, to see you and hear you. Uh, critical, important debate, uh, uh, also in the context of the current time uh, we're leading up to an election so post-election often a new cabinet and uh, uh, not only a call from the market to step up but parliament actually agreed upon a motion that uh, planning and housing should again be addressed institution institutionally better uh, at the national scale so there is a, a a kind of dynamics but then what because uh, if we look at the challenges uh, nothing is new uh, we are very much uh, uh, we are very much aware if we are critically listening uh, and reading uh, the reports over the last decade uh, and more what these challenges are even a pandemic uh, 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 is not a new threat or challenge only the way we handle these challenges actually shows our insecurity uh, if we go back five years, which is like uh, uh, always very helpful for me also in the international context. Uh, just uh, uh, last month, five years ago, we agreed on 17 sustainable development goals. Uh, and that you could say that is the ideal planning agenda uh, for the world uh, because it addresses all issues of society environmental ecological climate governance economic uh, social uh, 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 and so forth and so forth um, yeah. and as a whole uh, that comprehensive agenda is far better used outside of the netherlands than inside the Netherlands. so it's very interesting in my work especially in asia and africa and latin america is that those sustainable development goals are actually informing planning and uh, policy practices uh, much better than in the Netherlands. Uh, uh, so uh, 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 while we like to look at the world as being more siloed up and more fragmented than we are, uh, because in the Netherlands we, uh, you know, there's this, there's this uh, sense that uh, a comprehensive approach is critically linked to our culture of dealing with our challenges. Uh, we don't link it to this comprehensive agenda that actually we agreed upon and put our, uh, our, our autograph uh, behind. Uh, uh, so uh, so that, is, that is one. A, a second part of the, the challenges which are now exposed also in the context of the current uh, uh, pandemic crisis is vested interest. And Ellen already talked a little bit uh, about it. Uh, overcoming vested interests uh, will be critical and important uh, to ensure that whatever we do now is not a response to our past positions or our past challenges, but actually something in preparedness for the future being uncertain or not. Uh, so uh, the question is how much are, are, is planning not only linked to policy and politics, but also to uh, societal interest. Uh, and the stronger that tie is, the harder it is to overcome and to become activists uh, or, or uh, even radical. Uh.